Hey guys, it's your lady Danta and that's called Rebecca. And um, guys, thank you so much for your subscription because every single day I'm checking my subscription, somebody, one or three, four people are subscribing to my channel. So to those new subscribers, welcome to my channel, continue subscribing and sharing my content. And to my repeat viewers, always remember, I love you so much and I'm who I am because of you guys and always and always appreciate you. Continue subscribing to my channel, share my content every time. Feel free to comment down there at the comment section and always remember to share with your friends. So guys, let's gather here. And today, I don't know, this is a story I'm going to share. And this is one of my friend's story. That's something that this is something that happened to one of my friends that I'm sharing right now. I don't wanna it's a long story, but I will try to cut it short to give the message that I'm giving out there. Let me tell you something. Women, are you there? Number one greatest enemy to a woman is another woman. Somebody share this with Kibe. When Kibe talks that shit, he talks about women. Sometimes I listen to him and I'm like, mm, where's the lie? Sometimes I listen to him and I'm like, mm, it's kind of true though. You know, I end up saying something like that because women are terrible. It doesn't matter what age, if, if women are just terrible and the greatest enemy of a woman is another woman and when I say this I mean in general all women don't come here telling me that whole oh, I'm not a woman I'm different yeah you might be different you know but the greatest enemy to another woman is a woman and here's the story and guys, I need comments from you guys. Please take your time, listen to my story, go down there at the comment section and say something about this. Right. So this friend of mine is called, uh, let's use a name because I cannot disclose names. Let's use a, a Judy. Okay. So Judy happened to work with me in Dubai. Okay. And uh, Judy met a guy who was working also in Dubai, right? And this guy was a white man, right? Guys, I want you to listen to my story clearly, please, and understand, and make sure you go down to the comments there. And I want to give you the reason I'm saying a woman is another greatest enemy to another woman. So, it happens that uh, this boyfriend of Judy, uh, by some coincidence, He's working with some Kenyans where he was working, right? And then this boyfriend went introducing Judy to the Kenyans' friends. Not like um, physically, but, you know, telling those Kenyans' friends, Ah, oh, I have a, a girlfriend who is from Kenya. Her name is so-and-so. She's from this tribe, blah, blah, blah. All those kind of, uh, you know, uh, things men do when, trying, when you're in love and you're trying to, you know, flex in flows about you are, you are a woman, okay? So now, happened that uh, Judy got pregnant and Judy came back to Kenya, okay? Because they were not married with that boyfriend. Then the boyfriend later came back to Kenya and they got married, okay? Now they became a family and, you know, with, the, with, with, with two children, okay? So now, don't forget the boyfriend is still working in Dubai with those, with those Kenyans ladies in the same company right so after some some while when this kenyan you know comes to visit kenya you know the husband will get some few stuff you know some gift for the for the kids some gift for judy and send this kenyan kenyan lady okay so it depends with their turn whoever is coming to kenya you always give them something to bring to their family to his family wife and the children so uh, it reached a point where Judy and the husband in Dubai, they started having differences. And Judy, she did not get exactly where this 
we had this where is the the king of this differences that i'm having with my husband is coming from we have been living a good life we have been happy you know now all of a sudden things are changing you know this um husband is not trusting judy anymore everything judy says the husband says is a lie is a lie is a lie you know the husband started calling you know school to school where the kids are going to confirm the school fees the husband started calling the caretaker the landlord or the landlady to confirm the rent you know anything anything judy does from kenya the husband is asking for a receipt the husband want to see as a receipt i husband want to see a receipt you know when judy tried to request something for the child maybe maybe like a baby baby is grown need an you know a bigger bed this guy is not going to buy a bed for judy or send money for judy he will send a kenyan woman to buy a bed and deliver to the house so these women started you know assessing judy's home where she's living and you know kenya is not like europe we are not safe you know if this woman they have started having some intimacy with their husband they are, they can do anything you know kenyan women huh? you know we know ourselves not only kenyan women but as long as a woman started having a thing with someone else's husband she's jealous she becomes she becomes like a weapon to you so they can do anything to win your husband are we together here so now you just started moving from houses to houses moving children from schools to schools because now she's not feeling safe for the sake of the children started going to the teachers and alarming them nobody's supposed to come to, to the school and see my child in case of anybody you know you need to call me she'll get calls from the school somebody is here to bring something for your child somebody is here to see your child somebody was sent to come and pick the receipt somebody was sent to come and call all of those, those kind of things guess what i know women are weak but women makes men more weak. This guy ends up having a thing with these two Kenyans. And these two Kenyans knows duty, clearly. Knows duty, in and out. And Judy did not trust this Kenyan from the beginning. The, Judy was like, you know, I don't feel comfortable taking, taking these women to my house because this guy was sent... Uh, these women to bring something for Judy and Judy will be like, oh, let's meet somewhere in town. Judy will look for a restaurant. They will meet in, in town, you know. And Judy was telling me, these ladies, they will be, they will be asking some personal questions like, did you, did you plan to give birth to, to, to your children? Did you, you know, did you arrange to give birth to the first child or, the, you know, the just, you know, those personal questions, you can understand, you can feel this, this, conversation is not flowing this conversation is something you know ish ish with it right so anyway it would take it would take longer the differences became to separation the separation became to a family which is broken which is you know broken completely broken family you know judy she's in kenya with her two children the husband is in uh, Dubai, flossing and enjoying life with two, these two women. And the funny thing is, these are women that we know. Me and Judy, we know them. And I can even mention their names here. Right? So after, you know, some while, one of the women loses the job, comes back to Kenya. Okay? Then now one woman is left in in dubai so the husband was having an affair with this woman woman who came to kenya first then when this woman job was finished the contract was was not renewed she came back to kenya and then this guy started having an affair with that another woman who was left in in, in dubai right so it reached a point where now this woman in Kenya, life is hard for her. She cannot be able to pay rent. She cannot support her children the way she normally does, you know, all those kind of things. And uh, no, the husband, I mean, the Judy's husband, Judy's husband was supporting this lady in the, in the beginning, like sending some few, you know, shilling in and air. And this time he's sending money to this woman in Kenya. He's not sending money to Judy. Judy and the children are suffering, right? Then the husband 
told uh, this lady, you know what? I have a family and I want to make amend things with my wife. And uh, our, our thing, our relationship is not going to continue anymore. From the beginning, it was, it was uh, not right. And uh, I want to amend things with my wife. When this lady heard of this, you know what he threatened this guy? If you stop supporting me, I'm going to tell your wife everything, right? And that's time, you know, women, you know, never, 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 never joke with a woman who prays. If you see a woman who knows my fight time is the one above, never, never joke with that woman. Never play around with that woman because you're going to pay it all. You're going to pay it all. Never, and I'm going to repeat this again, never play with a woman who our fighter is the God above. Kitakuramba. So, this is what happened now. So, this lady told this guy, I'm going to tell Judy everything if you're, not, if you're going to stop supporting me. And the guy was like, go ahead. So, Judy is just sitting home, doing a thing, taking care of her children. She sees a huge message on uh, Facebook. Checking the message is that lady. Telling Judy things that her husband told her, or he was saying those children are not his. You trapped him. You trapped him with the children. Those children are Arabs. Blah blah. Nene is planning to leave you. He doesn't want you anymore. He wants to divorce you. All those things. Be careful. Then Judy was like, Hey, yo, you are supposed to be my friend, and I know everything you have done behind my back. So kindly leave my family alone. All right? Because Judy was clear. Thank you for sharing, but I will take care of it. That was Judy told this lady. Okay? So this lady went quiet. Now, don't forget the other one, they're still having an affair. Okay? So, again, this contract get finished. This husband now sent back to his country. He's not in Dubai, he's not in Kenya because they're not having a good terms with the wife. So he's not in Kenya. So they went, he went back to his country. Now this other lady was left in Dubai now. Kikamramba. Yeah. Okay? Contract. Ikaisha. She came back to Kenya. So these women started looking for Judy left, right, and center. Calls, messages from unknown numbers, threats. What, what? Kenyan women are terrible. Keep aware of you. I get you. Keep on talking about these Kenyan women. I don't know about other women, but for my friends to go through that, through a Kenyan woman, I think that was terrible. From somebody who you trusted, somebody mulika kwa meza pamoja muka share a meal together, you end a conversation, you end up doing this. Can you can I tell you something? In short, these two women, they end up breaking a very beautiful family because of jealousy. Thinking they're going to win this man to live a good life. It won't take long. This guy started crying back for Judy. Right? Judy tells him, come, let's talk. This guy uh, comes to Kenya. Judy has a conversation with this guy and this guy tells Judy everything. The first lady wanted to use this guy for visa. To go to, the, to his, I would not mention his country, to go to his country. And the second lady wanted in a marriage can you imagine men the worst person you can ask about your wife is another woman they will never say anything positive about your woman about your wife the worst person to ask an advice for it's another woman women they have other friends that you don't know. And your story becomes a storyline. From this to that, from this to that, from this to that. So, I will continue with my story later. Later, to tell you what happened. I will continue with my story later. 
to tell you guys what happened to these two ladies because kili waramba na kitaendelea kuwaramba you made another woman tears come out have sleep sleepless night children starve eh I don't know which God you're going to pray for forgiveness. But, kita endelea kukuramba. Kita kuliramba. Kukuramba urambike. So, when women keep on saying, oh, I don't know what broke Kibe, I don't know who did this. If you know you're there and you're a terrible woman who is messing up other women's families, <laughs> may the thunder strike you. And may you never have peace. Women pretend to be in church. I'm a God, God, Master P. I'm a God, Master P. I'm God, Master... And that woman saying that, she's a homebreaker. Just know if you're messing other people's marriages. I don't talk about dating. If it's, but when it comes to marriage, people have gone to exchange their vows in church. And you end up breaking those two people. Kuramba. Na yo siku dangani. Kita kuramba at the end of your life. So stay tuned. Continue and continue liking and sharing my content because I'm going to share more and more content. Love you guys. Ciao.